Hey foodies, welcome to Cooking Shooking. Ganpati Bapa Moria. So let's make some traditional modaks today for our Lord Ganesha. So let's start. We're going to begin by boiling a cup of water. So as the water is boiling in medium flame, let's cook up the jaggery. So here I have a frying pan in which I'm going to add half a cup of jaggery. So we're going to slowly melt this jaggery. So while the jaggery is melting, I'm going to just add about a teaspoon of ghee over to it so that it melts well and doesn't stick much. So our jaggery has well melted. Now I'm going to add in one cup of grated coconut. This is fresh coconut. Mix this well. Now the coconut and jaggery is well mixed and it has started leaving some moisture. Right now I'm going to add in 1 tablespoon of roasted poppy seeds or khaskas and 1 tablespoon of roasted sesame seeds. So in total 2 tablespoons of these. Now I'm going to add in 4 tablespoons of mixed chopped nuts along with 6 cardamom pods crushed well. Now we basically want to cook this until the excessive moisture is evaporated for about a minute or two in medium to high flame and it will be ready. So our filling or the stuffing is looking absolutely sensational and it looks all yummy. Now I have switched off the flame and we are going to wait until this cools down. Till then let's make up our dough. To the cup of water I am going to add in about a teaspoon of ghee. A quarter teaspoon of salt and about half a teaspoon of sugar. Now I'm going to get this to a rolling boil. As the water has started to boil, I'm going to switch off the flame. Add in the one cup of rice flour. Stir this up. Now I'm going to cover this and keep this for about two to three minutes, and then we're going to start kneading this to a dough. So our mixture has been resting for about 2-3 to three minutes, I'm going to get this down. This can be very hot, be very careful, now we're going to knead this. Now we're going to knead this and get this to a dough form, right now it looks like a powder and be very careful as this can be pretty hot. Now we're going to start kneading it, getting it all together. You can wear gloves if you wish to. Don't wait until it comes down to room temperature, otherwise it won't be workable. We have to work with this as it's hot. Now I am to sprinkle some water over to it, just few drops and start kneading this to a dough. You can sprinkle little water or ghee even whenever you wish to, no worries. We just want to get this to a dough. Just keep on sprinkle little bit of room temperature water and keep on kneading it for about a minute or two. I'm adding some ghee right now so that it smoothens out really well. So our dough is all perfect and looks all ready. Now you have to keep this in a covered bowl otherwise it will dry out. So now let's make up our modaks. Also make sure to heat up some water for steaming our modaks. Today I'm using this modak mold to make our modak in, which I have greased a little bit with ghee. You can even grease this with oil or water, all works the same. And you can even make this without the modak mold. You can watch our old video how to make modaks at home, where my mom shows how to make the shapes. Because she is very used to making momos and modaks and momos are pretty much the same thing when the shape comes in. And I'm quite not used to making momos, I mean the shapes. So I'm going to take a little bit of our dough and I'm going to press this in really well. And while you press the excessive will come out naturally. So somewhat like this. Now I'm going to stuff this with a little bit of our stuffing. So basically making momos or modaks with this mold is pretty easy and looks very beautiful as well. So we can see our modak. Looks awesome, isn't it? So I'm going to make all my modaks like so. So all my modaks are ready. We have got around 14 modaks from which 4 are smaller sized. 
you can see the smaller ones below so there are four of them you can make 12 modoks with this recipe and i have shown you double the quantity of stuffing in this recipe because i wanted to make some sweet parathas so using this stuffing i am going to make some parathas no worries what you can do is if you only want to make modoks you can make 24 modoks just double the amount of the rice flour and the water so you are going to take two cups of rice flour two cups of water and rest all procedure would be same and you would be getting about 24 modaks or so so let's steam this and make sure you are placing this cloth or something like a banana leaf in your steamer we don't want direct steam coming up to the modaks so we are going to take this to the boiling water so looks kind of messy but we are going to steam this for about 15 to 20 minutes in medium to high flame and then our modaks would be ready our modaks are ready and they have been steaming for about 15 minutes and then I have given them a standing time of about 10 minutes so they are perfect and you can see they are going little bit translucent and that's also a sign that they are cooked so now we're going to get them out so now I'm going to pour a drop or two of ghee you can also soak saffron in ghee and pour in saffron ghee if you wish to this is regular ghee nothing special and by the way this looks totally divine this looks totally amazing and our modaks are all ready to be served. These are such a delight that our Lord Ganesha also cannot resist. So make sure you try this. I'm sure you love it. But before eating yourself, make sure you serve these to our Lord Ganesha. I have done it. So make sure you do it as well. You can find the easy text recipe on our website cookingshooking.in. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe. It's free. Bye. Take care.